Our school systems are not just to focus on the academics or those who want to go to university, but it's also very important for you to have the opportunities to learn a trade. And trades are um, a profession that is becoming very, very popular, and people are doing extremely, extremely well um, in the trades. And remember, our future is very bright because we're going to have the ship's contract um, with uh, the Irving Shipbuilding, and that will result in, believe it or not, this is an astounding number, direct income back to our government because we got that contract is $2.8 billion. And the actual spin-off to that contract, with, which means um, other jobs that will be available, though also we'll need to have um, businesses come in to support. That will equal $25 billion. So get yourself ready. You are in a prime position at your age to be able to now look at some of those skilled trades and say, this is the direction that I want to go in, and the timing will just be perfect when you're out of school, finish through community college, and the door and the pathway to the ship build contracts will be there for you. So you're very fortunate and start thinking about that. So what we want to talk about today for your school is we'll be doing some major renovations in the school besides having you be one of 11 skilled trade schools in the province of Nova Scotia. There's only two on the South Shore and you're going to be the second one. And that's really exciting because there's many schools around the province that really want to be one of the skilled trade schools. And eventually we're hoping that we'll be able to see the success in the skilled trade schools and that there will be more throughout the province. But you're very fortunate because you're one of the first that we're doing in the province. And the cost of uh, what we're going to put into the school today, and part of our announcement with respect to the skilled trade center that you will have here for Forest Heights, along with the renovations that your school needs, you need a new roof, you need some sprinkler system, is that today's announcement is an investment for you and your school and your community of $920,000, almost a million dollars that we will be investing in Forest Heights. And I guess I'm, uh, I'm biased because I've grown up in, in the Chester municipality all my life and I'm so very proud that I've had an opportunity and I've gone through the school system here and I've been able to, to become an MLA and a minister of the province of Nova Scotia. And believe me, when I was going to school, I never dreamt that I would uh, have that opportunity and be standing here today making such a wonderful announcement. Part of the funding is coming from uh, Premier Daryl Dexter had announced in August that we were investing $15 million in the So Short. Uh, and we wanted to move that along quite quickly because, as you know, we've been very challenged with the forestry industry and the downturn um, in the Bowwater plant. So we knew that we needed to really focus uh, on this part of the province. And one of the key elements to that um, is our young people and how we need to be investing more in you. And that means having an opportunity now for you, for those who have decided already that they do not want to go into the direction of university, but you want to take a trade, you have a great opportunity now because you'll be able to select what you would like to try and then be able to experience that right here in your school. You don't have to wait till you get to community college now to find out if that's a choice that is a good choice for you. You're gonna be able to experience that here. And then when you leave here and you go on to community college to finish that particular trade, you're gonna be way ahead of the game because you're gonna have a lot of that knowledge base and that experience.